What's up, everybody? Clevercraft360 here. I'm back with some more Subnautica. Introing a bit differently than I normally do. Normally, I'm top uh, staring at the Aurora. Today, I'm down in my little scanner room here. I guess there's nothing really stopping us from getting a view of the Aurora. That's not a good view because I'm under the fucking water. But yeah, I think I'm gonna screw around with the uh, scanner room a bit today. Because I uh, raised the idea of using this to explore that little, uh. The little, uh. Mushroom cave system thing. And I think I'm gonna do something like that. How far away is the mushroom cave? It's outside of range for one of them, or at least the one that's at my base. But, I can go and build one over there. Because I don't think these things have any kind of, like, depth restrictions, like, uh, the Seamoth and such do. I want to get the HUD upgrade, though, at some point, but, uh... Magnetite and a computer chip. How much is a computer chip? That's not built there. Computer chip is actually quite cheap. It's actually extremely useful for resource collection then. I think I have magnetite like right here, right? Yeah. Okay, so what are the resources needed to make a scanner room? Table coral, gold, copper. Okay, I need a hatch, which is quartz and titanium. And we need power, which is quartz, titanium, and copper. I need to bring so much titanium and shit with me then. So I need five for the scanner room. I think one quartz and two titanium for the hatch, right? Yeah. And I need... Uh, probably at least two or three of these, so I need... Four more titanium and four more quartz. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Not to mention the two... Uh, not to mention the copper and shit that I need. How much gold do I need? I needed, uh, I think one? Yeah, just one. I need four copper, which I don't even know if I have. Okay, I have just four copper. I need table coral. Right? I have enough for that. I need table coral for that. I think I can deconstruct this and get all of my resources refunded, though, so if it doesn't work out, then it's fine. So now I should have enough for my little mobile operations base. This is probably a waste of resources. I'm just really curious to what's in that freaking cave. And I know there's shit down there that doesn't exactly like me either, so I'm gonna build it probably close to the surface. Where is it? This way. I don't remember if the things in that cave can fuck with the scanner drones. I don't think they can, but I'm not sure. I'm almost out of power. I still have that spare core with me, right? Yeah, I do. Or power cell, not core. I think I have enough power to get there, but I'm gonna need to replace it when I do. Still gotta get the fucking moon pool, because the moon pool can recharge this thing automatically. And I don't have to need, like, the special, I think. I should come to think of it, that's the only way to, to uh, charge the power cell things. Replace the power before I go in. There we go. 
Now I have this fucking depleted one, which is like no charge left in it. Nothing's rendering in. Nothing is rendering in. Render in. There we go. My computer is not meant to handle all this. Wait, there is below crush depth for this. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, there's no sunlight down here. I have Passing solar panels. Shit. I forgot about that. But if I do this on the surface, then... I don't fucking know. I don't think I have the... That was a problem. If I do this on the surface, though, I don't think I have the range that I need. Fuck. I don't know, I can try it on the surface, and if necessary, I can move it. I think. I have to build like a fucking like. Okay. But I can just put the hatch in the thing, but okay. I don't even know if I can put solar panels directly on top of this. I can, okay. It's good. I don't know if solar panels, if like two of these will be enough to power this thing. Power restored. All primary systems online. Welcome aboard, Captain. I don't like how fucking long this fucking camera linking shit takes. It takes fucking forever. There we go. I think this is the one in the wrong side too. Oh, why the fuck is it so like blurry? Jesus Christ. Oh wait, why is this back here? The reason this is so blurry is because it's back at the other fucking scanner room. I need cameras three and four. So that means they can be controlled from different things. Because I had an idea when I was reading up on the wiki for these. That uh, if you place scanner rooms in certain locations and keep them uh, charged. I like how this is fucking floating. <laughs> but if you put scanner rooms in certain locations and keep them charged. Then you have effectively infinite range on these drones. Due to the fact that they'll just like hop from one to the next. Yeah, I'm already going, like, there's, like, 500 meters, I think, these things cut out. I don't actually know. And I don't have any, like, way to power them down here. This is deeper than I've ever been before, which is cool. Oh, there's lava vents down here. I didn't even know that. Oh, shit. 
I'm gonna back away before these things fuck up my drone. These things go slow as fuck. I wish they could like scan shit from the drone. Make things so much easier. I think that's too far away though. Just sad. Yeah, that's about 700 meters away from the actual thing. I just thought about something. Oh, that has to go over a volcanic vent. Because I could probably put like a scanner room directly above that. And then it can just jump to the signal from there. Yeah, you see it's starting to go blurry. The other one, I think, could go, I think it's like 500 meters in the range of these things. Which means that is too far away. But I wonder if I can put, like, another scanner room above the actual, like, habitat thing. And then it could, like, jump to the signal from that. I don't know. Hope I can go further than I could, though. I'm not really getting much from this. I've already explored most of this area here. But yeah, it doesn't seem like these actually have a crush depth. I didn't find anything on the wiki about it either, so. So it's you could just like automatically recall these to the thing, because I'm gonna spend another fucking five minutes trying to get this back to the fucking thing. I think this is the way out, isn't it? Or at least a way out. Yeah, this is the way out. Then I'm just gonna go down here myself. I assume I probably can't use solar panels to power it down here. It doesn't really matter too much in full honesty because it'll just it'll, it'll give me a bit of extra range, but only a couple hundred meters. And again, if I can use solar panels down there, then that means I can make this much closer to the actual thing. I'm thinking about heading home so I can grab the shit to make a uh, scanner room upgrade chip. They're not, uh, like a HUD upgrade chip. Damn it, fucking... Yeah, I think this thing's lighting up shit down in the, uh, Degasi habitat. Yeah, it looks like it's down at the Degasi habitat. Rather than around here. I'm gonna run home so I can grab the shit to make a uh, HUD upgrade. Where's my uh, Seamoth? Welcome aboard, Captain. Actually, I wonder, what is directly above the Degasi habitat thing? I'm gonna take a slight detour for this. I don't have the resources to make another scanner room base thing. But, I just kinda wanna see what it's like over there. Ooh, this is... Same biome the one entrance to the cave is. Actually, you know what, I just realized there might be an entrance to the cave even closer. Yeah, this is about directly above it. I 
There might be an entrance to the cave, so it was around here. So directly above it is safe shallows, though. So I could, or at least, in, yeah. So I could actually theoretically put like a uh, scanner room above it. I just don't know. Ooh, there is a cave entrance closer. It looks like. Ooh, fuck yeah. Oh fuck, that actually scared the shit out of me. All I did was hit something and it scared the hell out of me. Oh, that, wait. Why does that not have anything there? Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency. There's nothing cost. here. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. There's nothing here. Oh, there is something here. Something that does not like me. How do I get inside? I- Oh, what the fuck? Fucking- Oh, where is my sea moth? Okay, so that's the Degasi habitat. I didn't realize there was actually like a cave entrance closer. I should have realized that much sooner. Uh, the med kit actually probably wasn't required. I don't have any food. What the fuck did I do with all my food? Did I eat all my food? I thought I had a bunch of food and a bunch of water. Shit. Gotta find the actual entrance to this so I can get in there without needing to worry about getting fucking eaten. I see that in there. Okay, I think I found it. Yeah, here we go. Oh, what the fuck? Oh! I see now. Jesus Christ, this scan's taking a long time. I want to try to get the sea moth closer, so that way I have... I mean, you can make, like, oxygen pipes and shit. How much does it actually require? At least I think you can make oxygen pipes, right? Base attached air pump pumps oxygen from a powered habitat into an attached pipe network. Yeah. Better. Okay, so I think I know what I'm gonna do. So the only entrance to the cave I knew of was actually over there. I didn't realize there was one closer. So I'm gonna take that scanner room mobile thing that I built, and I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna pause the video for that too, so that way it's not like, because it's gonna take a bit. So yeah, we'll be right back. And we're back. I got the, uh, Scanner room thing all done. Pen up with an extra copper because fuck this game. Uh, so yeah, that was a problem. I ended up going back and grabbing uh, food and water from the uh, base. I also grabbed the uh, hut upgrade. So we're doing good now. Actually, no, I want to scan it for that data box. We I mean, assume there's probably a data box in that Degasi habitat. Yeah, there is. I want to explore that habitat a bit more. Last time I tried to, I kept on almost getting fucking murdered. In this part of the habitat. It's not rendering in, which is annoying. I'm going to have to fuck my graphics settings so that things render in faster. So I'm going to end up hitting something trying to get down here. This is a fragment of something I don't think I have. This is a glass, and I, yeah. Let's hope I can fucking get through that. 
So this is also glass, yep. That's a closed hatch. It's like they want you to drown, Jesus Christ. I can't even use my rebreather over here, I think, because it's in the rad zone. At least where about the skater rooms in the rad zone, I don't know about uh anything else. Shit. So it's such a pain trying to navigate inside of here. So I hit one thing, this entire thing just kind of flips over. Like that. Anyways, though, because of how the oxygen shit works, like, I don't even know if there is a br bigger oxygen tank either. There's the fuck it. Mm. There's a PDA download. There's the data box. This would be too easy if I could get that shit from the drone. Oh my god, I need to find my way out now. There's so much crap that I don't even know which way is up. It doesn't look like there's any other way in other than this one entrance here. Which is a problem. He's going from this entrance throughout this thing. Like, these scans, they take a long time. I'm ready to set the thing to be fragments. That way I know exactly what to look for and when to look for it. Or not when to look for it, but, like, exactly what I should be looking for and, like, scan. Because otherwise I'm going to end up running into problems. Fuck. Looks like there's only one actual, like, fragment or anything down here. Nope, there's multiple. Shit. Fuck. I'm gonna go down there so that the base renders, and then I'm gonna go back up to the sea mouth to grab oxygen. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Yeah, that damage is fast, too. Nope, that's too far. So I can't even be at 200 meters. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Past There's a bunch of fragments meters. down here. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. And as far as I know, it only shows things that I haven't already scanned. So... Stasis rifle could be important. Thermal plant. New blueprint acquired. Thirty seconds. Alright, so if I put on the rebreather, okay, it's actually not in the rad zone over here, which I'm actually surprised about. Okay, that actually makes us much better. Oh my god, it makes the freaking rate so much lower. Power cell charger, that's nice. Oh, this makes us such a more leisurely exploration. Oh my god, I thank god I realized I had this. I had this when I was down here earlier, too, but I didn't realize I had it. I didn't realize I had it until I was on the way over here from the other thing. Something's pissed off at me. 
Oh, what the fuck? Oh, son of a bitch. Fucking die. That actually scared the living fuck out of me. Oh my god. Oh my shit. The uh, habitat up there died. Sun must have went down. Shit. Fuck. Some of these things is not even showing me the uh, that I can scan it. I guess it literally only shows me fragments and not what I can scan from the actual thing. Data. 30 seconds. The uh, PDA entries here, I'm not going to read them. I've already read them on the wiki. Uh, if you guys want to go read them, they're on the wiki. I recommend going there because I'm not going to bother going through them right now. Before I go topside, though, I'm gonna need to go and uh, put the uh, radiation suit back on. It's like fucking like these movements are so sharp in this game that it's really hard to like kind of avoid these things. Because you press one wrong button and you're going fucking straight into them. You can see this and explore this part here. I think this just goes up to here too, doesn't it? Absorber observatory. Yeah, observatory. That's what I'm looking for. These Degasi habitats, when you go to them and scan them, they can make buildings so much better. You unlock most of your building things from scanning these Degasi habitats. Which is what I've been wanting for a while, is more building options and shit. Like, I want to go to these Degasi habitats, like, pretty much just for the building stuff. Fuck off, you're outside, you can't hurt me. I hope. That's the Degasi voice slot, which I'm gonna grab. High capacity air tank is what that thing I said, I think. If it did, then fuck yeah. I think I've scanned everything here. I hope. I don't want to leave unless I think I have. It looks like I have. I just wish I highlighted the things that I haven't, whether they're fragments or not. Thirty seconds. Shit, I gotta go topside. Or at least go up to the sea moth. There's still that cut in that fucking mushroom, isn't there? Yep. Put the pump back on right, yeah. I almost just went straight down. Fuck, I'm done. Wait, where'd it go? I actually need to see. Did I actually get those blueprints from that? Because I want to know if I got the, uh... got the stasis rifle blueprint, which is nice. I haven't gotten the prawn suit blueprint. I got the high capacity ultra... or this thing. Which I can actually... No, I can't. I don't have lithium. Gotta find how to get lithium. Observatory, multi-purpose room. Thermal plant. Which I think is pretty much meant so I can power something down here. Titanium, spotlights. Water filtration machine, which is super helpful. Because I can use the salt to make uh, fucking food. Then again, I have enough salt that I can make well. Battery cell, or power cell charger. Yes, I got it. And I had the battery charger too. I have the wall planter, which I can also use to make food, but. Fuck yeah. Uh, I don't have the inventory space, otherwise, I would grab the resources that I used to manage. Actually, no, I think I do. 
I want to grab the resource. Like, I want to, like, uh, fuck. I think I'm gonna scrap this scanner room so I can bring the resources back. Cause I don't need it anymore. I could use it over here just for scanning in general. I have an idea. Uh, actually, you know what? We're getting to the 30 minute mark. Welcome aboard, Captain. So I think I'm gonna end it here. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Subnautica, go check out some of my other Subnautica videos or even go check out some of my other uh, series on my channel. I really like doing these Subnautica videos. I really wish they got more support than they do. But, uh, yeah. Tell me what you guys thought I did right and what I thought, what you guys thought I did wrong. I always appreciate feedback in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.